And today I'm going to detail how the citrus bioflavonoid hesperidin and its derivative diosmin support bone density as we age. You'll often find hesperidin among other common bioflavonoids like quercetin, rutin, and navrinchin in either a bioflavonoid complex or packaged with vitamin C. Diosmin is derived from hesperidin, and diosmin is known as a phlebotonic which is a nutrient that improves the health and function of our veins. So you'll often find diosmin in supplements tailored for lower limb circulation. Both hesperidin and diosmin regulate bone resorption, the tight balance between bone formation and bone breakdown, executed either by osteoblasts, which create new bone, or osteoclasts, which break down bone. And while resorption is a natural part of bone health, Inflammation-induced bone resorption and excessive free radical activity stemming from a sedentary lifestyle and a highly inflammatory diet all activate the bone breakdown action of osteoclasts, and this certainly contributes to osteopenia, in which the bones are far weaker than normal, and even osteoporosis, which is the most common bone disease and is infamously characterized by a sharp reduction in bone mineral density and an increased risk of fracture. Diosmin, through its circulating metabolite diosmatin, increases the activity of the metabolic enzyme alkaline phosphatase, which is secreted by osteoblasts, and diosmin also activates estrogen receptor beta, and alkaline phosphatase and estrogen receptor beta are both critical components of the bone building process. Osteocytes are the primary cells in bone tissue, and these cells also secrete the metabolic protein sclerostin, which inhibits the bone-building action of osteoblasts while stimulating the formation of the bone-destroying osteoclasts. In both osteopenia and osteoporosis, sclerostin is usually produced excessively. Hesperidin and diosmin both inhibit excessive sclerostin production, leading to increased bone-building action from osteoblasts and, over time, an overall stabilization of bone mass. Diosmin's circulating metabolite, diosmatin, also stimulates estrogen receptor beta in osteoblasts, resulting in increased bone-building activity while also suppressing the anti-osteoblast opposing actions of sclerostin. While well, you can find hesperidin and diosmin separately as individual supplements, it's better to look first for hesperidin because, again, diosmin is derived from hesperidin. And also, hesperidin itself is a powerful activator for our metabolic master switch activated monophosphate protein kinase, or AMPK, which induces autophagy, our cells' way of cleansing themselves through digesting their metabolic waste. And autophagy is supportive of bone health on its own as it stimulates osteoblast differentiation and increased bone mineralization. And while caloric restriction is one of the best known methods for activating autophagy, you can also do so through regular exercise, particularly weight training, which also builds bone density better than anything else. The only major caution with hesperidin is that this bioflavonoid can lower blood pressure. So if you're already prone to low blood pressure and or if you're taking any medications that lower blood pressure, then it's best to avoid hesperidin entirely. Thanks for watching. I'm Jason Carter, and I'll see you next time on Enzymental. Stay healthy.